Hey, welcome to the Labor Day Uneventful Podcast. It's not a special episode because it's Labor Day, but it is Labor Day weekend. Uh, Last night, Friday night, I went down to my local Motel 6 bar. I should have went down to the city, should have, would have, could have. I always assume I'm going to see people like comics that I know at the cabaret. Nobody was there but me and some other locals. They left, including a prostitute with her lesbian pimp. That was gross. And I just got drunk by myself. Uh, earlier today, I hung out with my buddy Willie Fritz. We went to a comic book store, and then we went to uh, fucking. Uh, I might did the comic books, but he wanted to check some comic books out. And then we went to some bar and had some food and drink, and it was fun. And I was going to go out tonight to Old City. I was actually in Old City. We were near South Street, near Old City, but I had to take a poop. I felt a poop coming, and I said, I really don't want to find somewhere to poop. And then I kind of feel tired, blah, blah, blah. But as far as the live streaming goes, folks, I know I said the last two weeks, I might be, I wouldn't say done for live streaming for good, maybe next week, maybe next month, I don't know. But all my live streams all look the same. It's all the same stuff, go to Old City or sit in my car. It's kind of just a waste of money, a waste of data. So until I can figure something out, it's on hiatus for a little bit. But watch the old live streams. Go watch the uh, Florida live streams. I think they did like 11 hours of uh, live streaming out there, for those of you who enjoy that stuff. And enough uh, uh, yapping for right now. I'm going to get to some public freakout commentary, which I hate to do. I wish I had other segments, but I don't have anything to think about as far as uh, so I can find other stuff. This is what we're doing for the show. Lack of guest and lack of talent. As you know, why do you listen to the show? Ask yourself that question. But it's your fault because nobody forces you to. Okay, this next one says daddy issues. These SJW chicks, these, these, these millennial chicks, this is only 10 seconds. You can tell, you know, they're young, they're in college. They may not be that young, probably in their 30s, who knows, with white chicks. And um, they're, they're going after this white guy wearing a mega hat. He's calm, this white dude. And he's going to, watch, they got the smile on their face, like a smirk. Like they're going to school him. Let's see what happens here. So this is uh, 12 seconds. You're right, we are trying to rebel. That's what it is about. You're angry at white men because you have daddy issues. Clearly. It's not about white men. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> Somebody hits you close to home. We gotta play that back. Right, so to- they're trying to go at him and blah, blah blah. And he tells them they have daddy issues and they had a problem with the white man. And this bitch looks like she's about to uh, period out of her ass. That's amazing. That's what it is about. You're angry at white men because you have daddy issues. Clearly. It's not about white. Are you not about- fucking kidding me right now? She almost, like, gets in his face, too. She's, like, almost, like, a foot away from his face. Kudos for that guy. A lot of these are, are really quick. It might be a shorter-than-usual show, but I'm okay with that. It's not like I get paid for this bullshit. Oh, fuck. I just missed the clip up. Can we get back to it? Yeah. Okay. Taken at Landon's high school door my time there, I constantly saw a similar situations occur. Pretty much what happens is this kid... Ripped some other kid's pride flag off. By the way, I saw a lot of public freakouts. This is only the first week of school. You can tell all these kids want to go viral on TikTok. They all want to be YouTube stars and TikTok stars. It's only been a week. I think they just went back to school this week. I think Wednesday for a lot of kids. And there's tons of fight videos. Not tons, but a good amount of fight videos and going at teachers. They're back in school now. Everyone's, you know, you can tell they're doing this on purpose. But this kid runs up to this other kid and rips his pride flag, pride flag right off him. I gotta be careful to say that. Not pride fag, pride flag. Here it is, 10 seconds. So this kid's wearing like a rainbow shirt. He's got a rainbow goofy clown hair. Not that he deserves this, by the way. This is bullying. And he yanks it so hard the kid falls on his ass. And he starts dragging him. And he throws it right in the trash can and punches the trash can. He has daddy issues. He don't like the uh, gays. And he pushes the person who was defending the guy. Should be an episode of Cobra Kai right there. You know, Big fight breaks out over gays. That could be an episode. Write that in. Uh, so yeah, that happens. So like I said, a lot of fight videos go to all of these schools. The kids. Aren't you glad that you, for the future of this country, are back in school? I'm not. I mean, I'm kind of glad they're off the streets, but they're animals. White and black kids, all of them. 
Uh, this next one's on a golf course. This is more of a visual. A intoxicated person driving a golf course gets caught. A car is trying to stop the golf course. Let's see what happens here. A minute, 12 seconds. So. Stop. It does sound like kind of fun, though, to get drunk and just rent a golf course and just drive around drinking beers and uh, kind of causing havoc. That does sound kind of fun. So I, I can't hear it. The audio sounds terrible. This pussy-ass cameraman can move up a little bit so we can hear. I hear something about a license plate number. But the great thing about drinking and driving on a golf course is it's not like drinking and driving in real life, you know? The worst you can do is probably hit a tree. It's two really old white dudes. Oh, the cops finally come. It's a black cop. There's a number of Corona lights. Me? Look at all the Corona There's Corona lights. lights in the bag, and the guy's laughing. I mean, any kind of beer can get you intoxicated, as long as it's not old duels. We got any pot? We got a little pot in there? Let's look and see what happened to the car. Not looking good. Oh, so they were driving a car in the golf course. Okay, I got it misunderstood. Uh, okay, so it wasn't the golf cart. It was the golf. Okay, so yeah, that is dangerous. Yes. A uh, later man got caught taking creep shots of a little girl, and it did not go well for him. This is in Walmart in Atlanta. If you imagine, this sounds like the blackest thing ever. This is two black women beating the shit out of a black man for, I guess, taking booty pictures. So, here it is. So they are really punching them. These, uh, these, some of these Taikishas, they punch like men. You gotta be careful. They are just stopping him. Whopping him. Oh, you gotta look at this guy's face. He kind of looks like Dwayne Wade if he just got in a, a boxing match and lost. He is fucked up, man. He's just laying there, blood over his shirt, one shoe off. He got fucked up, bro. And now the police gonna get you to delete the pictures. All right, you know maybe he's coming. Well, maybe if you would stop telling your daughters to dress like whores, maybe these men can keep it in their pants. But we asked him, he telling us, oh, I'm losing a slipper. I'm like, yo, close up the police. Can I follow me? And that ass recording me. Recording me. While I'm with my. Okay. So that one got a little bit too far. This next one's the weirdest fucking clip ever. This is in where, guys? My dirty city in Philadelphia. Don't come here. Cool ass cop, it says. This guy kind of looks like the guy from Breaking Bad, the, uh, the brother in law, the nosy fuck. And he's, it looks like he's joking around with these black guys. Like he's taking their money, and he's like wrestling with them. And then all of a sudden this black guy comes from behind him and starts choking him out. And it's just like, I thought it was fake. Like, okay, this white cop is like fucking joking around. It says they're all having a laugh, but the guy at the end is really choking him. So I don't think they were filming a comedy sketch, and then the guy uh, takes it too far. This is fucking weird. You gotta see this. You gotta, if you want to watch one video from this, watch this one. Cool ass cop. But here it is. So. Boy, dog, I'm telling you, I'm suing the police department. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You suing fucking Jesus. <laughs> Put that shit. Give me that fucking money, bitch. So he grabs a bunch of money, and I can't tell if it's real or not. And that's like he's putting it in his pants. Damn, bro. <laughs> Damn, look at this elite. Damn, bro. bro. This an and now he's he's on top of the other, the black guy in the passenger seat. Damn, Damn bro. It's and an he's, illegal he's slapping him in the head like he's joking around, which is like, what the it's fuck? <laughs> And it's a white shirt. And it's a white but, shirt, Sergeant. Hit him up. Oh, there we go. And now the black guy comes from behind him and starts Ooh, choking here we him. Go. Here we go. He puts him in a Taz mission. For those of you who are wrestling fans, the wrestler Taz had a, a finishing move. Where he would fuck you up the butt. He would come from behind you, and then he would grab your arm and lock it together and choke you. Yeah, you under arrest, nigga. No, you under fucking arrest, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. You under arrest, nigga. Yeah, you better stop fucking with the boys in the hood. Fuck is wrong with you. You under arrest, nigga. You under arrest, nigga. He locked the cops up, nigga. We locking the cops up, nigga. 
black guy. And now he's slapping him beside the head. But it looks like they're all joking around. Like, did this cop ask these black guys? Or there's one, the guy in the passenger seat's like Hispanic or something. But is this like a comedy sketch? This is in Philly. Where is this? Smack you in his fucking head. Black lives matter, little nigga. And I got his leg. Got and he's got the guy's leg, leg over his ass. Black lives matter, nigga. Look at me take your gun and pistol with me, nigga. And the cop's laughing. What the fuck is going on? It says, never gave the money back. Uh, they're all having a laugh, chill. Did he walk off with all that money, though? I don't give a shit. Give me that money, bitch. Booker T on commentary. It did sound like Booker T. I'm reading the comments right now. I'm sure there's a good backstory here. A cop is a longtime friend to one of the, some of these guys. He's totally playing. When the dude sneaks up and puts him in a headlock, he remains totally cool, doesn't try to get out. My guess is that he's in the neighborhood. Yeah, but but it looks it looked kind of real because his face was red the way the guy was uh, was was choking him. Uh, I say eighty percent of the population are like this. It's a shame the rest of the sport really grew up. I know it's fake. What happened to the money? Everyone's concerned about the money. But uh, fuck yes, love this video. But there you go, folks. Uh, racism ended right there. And finally, I want to end on something real quick. This is old from a long time ago. Mike Tyson. He, he actually quoted this. Now I really do want to rape her and fuck up mama. We got to play this. This is a great way to end the segment. So did you do this? Did you rape no, her? No, I ain't raped that slimy bitch. But now I really do want to rape her and her <laughs> mama. <laughs> Let's play that one more time. So did you do this? Did you rape no, her? No, I ain't raped that slimy bitch. But now I really do want to rape her and her <laughs> mama. And the white woman looks disgusted. He's a convicted rapist, and he's on camera like, yeah, now I do want to rape her. That's not the thing you want to say, but hey, another hero of mine. I'll put him up with Cosby. Folks, we're going to wrap this up with some odd news. This is the first but yet worst comedy podcast in Philly and your favorite podcast show that most people don't listen to. And we're going to wrap this up, like I said. So you stay put there, fuckheads. <coughs> All right, folks, it's time to wrap this bad podcast up with some odd news. Let's get right into it. Vi Viagra thief, not a hardened criminal, his lawyer says. Ah, he made a funny. Let's see. Uh, the 46-year-old stole the packet of Viagra from Lloyd's Pharmacy and needed it for a formed relationship with a woman. So that guy's walking like a pirate right now. Uh, rapper Little Uzi Vert says, Little Forehead Diamond got ripped out by fans during a... Rolling loud. A uh, 25 year old man in epic posts. Meltdown, newlywed scuffle with jailers declared all hail Donald Trump. Yes. And it shows him he's being choked right now by a bunch of people. He fleed the scene of an auto crash. He was married earlier in the day and appeared under the influence. All hail Donald Trump. Well, that guy, he's pretty cool. They're still fighting this whole abortion thing. It's never going to go away. It is a woman's body, but at the same time, uh, you can't stop rapists. Uh, huge Ted Bundy fan, by the way. He did nothing wrong. He had female uh, conjugal visits in prison. Look it up. Uh, Haren becomes NYC icon after being pictured devouring a rat for breakfast in Central Park. I don't know how to say that word. Haran. Oh, it's it's an animal. It's like a big giant bird. Jesus. Uh, man tries to smuggle 34,000 worth of cocaine under his toupee, can you say? So, it just, if you got a bad wig, you know, you can kind of put things under it. But they were like, oh. But that's a lot of coke, though, man. That sounds like a good old time. Cashier sets up an Insta, making light of her job. The chain store she works for copies her style of post now on their official Insta. I will post it in Polish. What? Okay, this is in, po this is in Poland, I guess. I, I, I can't read that. Angry man with zip ties ambush school principal at the COVID-making request. So they're still trying to fight to get kids to not have their mask on. I think it's a good thing because if you're like that kid from Cobra Kai and you got that little deformity, people can't make fun of you, you know, because they can't see it. Man cuts off penis and throws it out the car window during the police chase. It's a Josh Cass story of the day. A man who cut off his own penis during the police chase claims that voices on radio, uh... 
told him to do it to save the world. Tyson Gilbert was parked on a Tennessee highway and had blocked traffic when the police arrived to pull him over. When I pulled up behind and turned my lights on, he took off and refused to stop. He was all over the road. He cut off Old Liberty Road. It came to a stop. He looks like Tyler. You gotta see the... What the fuck? He played this clip. This, he looks like Tyler from RSD. If he never made it. He was homeless. 39-year-old guy in a Honda Accord. He kept traveling westbound, blah, blah, blah. So there you go, folks. He, he pulled the Lorraine Bobbitt on himself. That's awesome. That's the Josh Cast story of the day. Teenagers stunned by parents' awful financial demand. Children aren't obligated to pay for their own upbringing. The husband was covered in meat sauce after spaghetti battery. So there are people who fight in spaghetti. Uh, she, a Florida woman's behind bars after attacking her husband with a plate of spaghetti. What a wop that is. Woman arrested for using a fake Mardina vaccine card to travel to Hawaii. They do sell fake vaccine cards out there. White supremacist sentenced to read Pride and Prejudice. It's got to be Britain. He looks Britain. Protesters dress as giant breasts. March outside Facebook office. Facebook be titties, yo. Homeless man arrested for stealing a kayak while wearing nothing but his underwear and a boat captain's hat. It's amazing he's homeless, but he has a boat captain. Vietnamese woman indicated for rejected vaccine requests in the nude. So some pervert. They're, they're perverts in Japan. They have vending machines and stuff. Brawl erupts after Iwa Bragnica hands opponent a dildo during a weigh-ins. These UFC bitches be horny, yo. Cougar that was kept as a legal pet removed from an NYC home. Ron Jeremy charged with 20 more counts of sexual assault. That guy needs to just off himself. He's done. And speaking of off myself, this podcast is off. Folks, that is it for this episode. Happy Labor Day. Enjoy yourself. Have a barbecue. Get drunk. Go fuck yourself, Cuffy. We're out of here. <laughs>